across our planet, sea levels are on the rise. And while our changing climate is a huge driver, the movement of the Earth itself is also an important factor. Around 20,000 years ago ice sheets covered large areas of our planet. In many places, the weight of these massive ice sheets pressed down on the planet's crust and viscous mantle underneath. This weight caused the surrounding land to rise and the sea levels to fall relative to that rising land. Over time, these ice sheets began to retreat as part of Earth's natural cycle of glaciation and melting and as a result, the already subsided land began to rebound. When the land rose up, the previously uplifted land sank causing the sea level to rise relative to the ground. This adjustment of the land in many previously glaciated regions, continues to this day. Today if we were to travel to Greenland where massive ice sheets are now retreating due to a change in climate it is visible that the land is readjusting in the same way to the lessening load. This also alters the shape of corresponding ocean basins, leading to additional subsidence along coastlines. Subsidence can also result from human activity. For example, many coastal cities rely on underground aquifers for fresh water. However, when water is extracted, it causes sediment to compact and the ground above to subside. This leads to additional sea level rise in these areas. We live on a dynamic planet that is constantly in motion. So understanding the many drivers of sea level rise is critical to anticipating and adapting to our ever-changing climate. 